Hey, it's Ben here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of a new software plugin coming out called Reengager and getting my thoughts and outlining some of the pros and cons. And what this does is this is a, a, a software plugin that's going to do two things. First, what it can do is it can create uh, flashy notifications on your browser tabs. So, for example, here's a page that I have the Reengager installed on. Now, it looks like a normal page. Uh, it's just a demo. But whenever I go, say I get distracted and I go to a different page, like uh, I want to go to Facebook, for example. So you see right now how uh, this tab changed to like a, a plus one notification like Facebook and now it's actually uh, flashing right now and it even has like a, a one symbol. So what that's going to do is that uh, um, if you get distracted or you know your customer, your potential customers get distracted, they got to check their email, they go to another browser, which uh, I think we all have a lot of browser tabs open throughout the day. I know I have a lot. It will kind of flash and try to get them to come back to the tab. Now that's part one. Now what it also will do is you can run re-engage your campaigns and these are certain campaigns like uh, videos, pop-ups, coupons, things that will happen whenever the user goes back to the site that wouldn't happen whenever they first uh, landed there. For example, I'm going to click on this again. Let me ask you something. Right and, then, uh, and you can see here a video popped up with a light box background and then uh, in this case we also have a buy button to go and click uh, whatever this is. And this is an example of one type of re-engager campaign and this is the, the video type of campaign where you can actually have a video of your product or a sales page or a video of the product you're promoting and then uh, try to get people to take a quicker action. And that's something that you can have that comes up whenever they leave that won't show whenever they're initially on the site, but will come up whenever you re-engage them to come back to your site. Now, let me uh, take a look. Let me show you inside here the different types of campaigns you can do. Uh, so, for example, that was the, uh, we can have a YouTube video play. Now, there's also something where we can have a pop-up display. And, which you, and I'm going to show you how you set these up. It's pretty easy. So here's the site. Here's like our content or our affiliate review or, you know, whatever it is. And say we go to our site, we get distracted. Now the notification is going to start blinking and coming up. Then we're going to uh, click on it. And then in this case, a pop-up came up uh, for us to click here and then get on the list. Now you might be wondering, well, Ben, why don't we just have the pop-up come up in the first place? Well, you know, you might not want that uh, depending on the, you know, what type of campaign you're running. You know, if chances are you probably want the person to engage with your content or your view or something. I know that I wouldn't want a pop up coming up if I was trying to do an affiliate promotion like this one, because uh, that would distract people and get people to, you know, focusing on the 30 greatest list building tricks. Um, but I would want that if, you know, they got distracted already or they read some of the content and then they went to, you know, Facebook or Gmail or something. Um, but now for some reason we got them back because of the flashing thing. And now I really need to get their email address so that they don't uh, leave forever or close out the tab or something like that. So um, let me show you a couple other ones that I've set up and are trying out. Now, this is good for local businesses. You can do with an actual full Google map embed. So you can do this um, You know, if you have a local page or you're gonna be using uh, Reengager for local businesses. Um, so we're gonna go to Facebook. Um, it's gonna start flashing. Then we're gonna go back. And then what it will do is it will actually load a full uh, Google map for people to see where the, the you know the bakery or the you know plumbing business or whatever it is uh, is up and then a contact us button to schedule your appointment now obviously this wouldn't make sense if you just loaded it right away and they didn't know who you were but it would make sense if you know they they read some about you know read some things about you they left and now that they're coming back and now it's time to schedule that appointment to get them in so some other things you can do you can also do something called uh, image re-engage campaigns so I'm gonna click on this uh, leave the site, go back, and now we have like a, uh, an image or a coupon for you know a Shopify product or some sort of product we're selling on our site. And I'm going to show you how to set these up as well, as it's uh, pretty easy to do. Also, you can do uh, something called uh, subscribe on return, something called show hide, and this is you're gonna all these right now. I'm showing you uh, you can get on the front end. So here's our buy button. Uh, $29 is the price and say we get distracted and we leave so we're gonna go back and now it actually cuts the price down so you can have these uh, custom buy buttons with your own links to whatever it is JVZoo etc and it will actually change the price of it for people who are coming back uh, which is you know kind of a nifty idea which can definitely work and then there's another one called subscribe on return And then this is kind of like uh, another pop-up as well uh, for you to you know, subscribe to the, the blog. 
Now, and then depending on what version you get, there's also some ways for you to, um, there's something called the re-engager inbox. Uh, first, I want to show this one as well, this because this one actually embeds uh, an entire differently site on your blog, uh, which is really important, especially for like affiliate marketing type promotions. And this one, what this one's going to do is, uh, is this going to this is going to show an entirely different website? So, for example, say we were reviewing uh, the reengager plugin on our blog. Then what we can do is have a you know a reengage campaign where you come back and now it's going to show the the uh, actual sales page for the product that we're promoting or in this case the reengager with a countdown timer you can add uh, and the buy now button as well or you know click to go through the offer here as well uh, so that's something else you can do and then like I was saying depending on what version you get um, if you get the upgrade version you can also do something that's called the reengager inbox I'm going to show you that. And then it's kind of like an inbox where these are, you know, some of the the most proven content that you have or posts. You know, he, here's a review. He did a WP Twin. You can check out. Here's a way to connect with him on Facebook. Um, here's a way to subscribe to his email list. Uh, it's kind of a clever idea that they did um, to get people, you know, more engaged with your business and your site. And then there's also one where you can actually redirect to any website. So if they go on your site, they see it, uh, they leave, and then you can what you can do is just redirect them back to an Amazon product or. You know, uh, your sales page for a campaign or you know whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do next now to set these up it's pretty easy all you have to do is install the plugin then you have to go to add new campaign you can see here that these are all the campaigns that I've set up already and if you want to add them in whatever page all you have to do is just uh, copy the short code it creates and just paste the short code on the post the page or whatever it is that you want to create it so we're gonna here go here to uh, create campaign you just give it a, a title um, here's the different settings you can have which one if you want the uh, the YouTube video or image the Google Maps the the inbox um, the show hide redirect and then these are the the tab settings where you can have it um, how fast you want it to scroll um, what the actual title is you don't have to just have one notification uh, like I had um, the blink rate if you want it to blink or not um, if you want to even have the favicon activated um, you can choose the color and things like that uh, the position where it's going to be and then um, you can add your file here if you don't want um, the default favicon that it comes with you can add whatever one that you want as well and then you just uh, create the campaign and then embed it on whatever post or page that you want and it's that simple now uh, some of the, the, the drawbacks that I found well this probably isn't something that's gonna turn like a, a, a campaign that's totally dead um, around instantly like something like you're sending tons of traffic to your sales page or your blog your affiliate promotions and there's a hundred percent bounce rate well, uh, just from installing a WordPress plugin, that's not going to fix it. Obviously, there's something wrong with your offer or you're targeting the wrong traffic. And just installing Reengager isn't going to suddenly reduce that bounce rate from 100 to, to 50 just uh, instantly like that. You know, So don't expect anything like that, no matter what other affiliates are probably claiming or things like that. Now, on the other hand, um, I think this is something that can definitely help you get attention. I know that I have a lot of browser tabs open. And I'd probably, you know, I'm always clicking Facebook because I do have like the plus one notifications and things like that to go back. So this is definitely something that can help uh, bring attention back to your site, uh, which is something that's very important today because engagement and attention are more valuable than ever today with so many distractions uh, for your potential customer or client. And if you think about it, um, they're actually selling the re-engager for a pretty low price. And uh, if you can just get one more client or the, get one more person to come back and subscribe to your email list and then eventually they buy an affiliate product, well, then you probably just paid for the, the re-engager uh, itself. And I don't see any harm with you know having something flashing to try to get people back to your site. And if you get one sale or whatever, then you pretty much paid for the plugin because it's a pretty low price that so they're going to be selling this at for lifetime access. So I definitely think this is something that's simple but can definitely uh, help your site in the long run. So if Reengager looks like something that could help your site or your business, you can check it out when it's going live for that low price and early discount uh, special um, when it launches at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe. And if you buy it uh, during the early bird special or uh, you know whenever it's live, then you're going to get a lot of uh, quality bonuses I've added below that you can check out um, like normal. And you also get that early bird discount that I was talking about um, that will be available to the first customers that buy it. So if it's uh, something that looks interesting, you can learn more about it on the sales page. 
and uh, get it whenever it launches for the lifetime access price. So thanks for watching this video and hopefully this helped you out and make a decision on re-engager.